two, so you had a final slope um, uh, when given two points. So what we're going to do is we're going to use um, we're going to use the point slope uh, form of an equation. Now to remember what the point slope form is, uh, maybe you might be used to looking at the slope intercept. And the slope point slope form just says this: y two minus y one equals m times x two minus x one. Now, when given two points, it's going to be kind of difficult to be plugging into this equation because I have to remember a point as an x and a y coordinate, right? So it's going to be kind of difficult to plug in here. We have an x and y, but what do we do with the other point? Well, here this has become very helpful because what we have is we have two x's and we have two y's. And you can see we distinguish these x and y's with a subscript of 2 and 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to do that exact same thing by putting subscript 1 and subscript 2. Subscript 1 and subscript 2. Now it doesn't matter which one you make a 1 and which one you make a 2. Um, you just got to make sure you're consistent. So then, once you've done that, you can just plug it into your formula. So x, or y2 is a negative 8 minus y1, which is 4, equals m which we do not know, which is x2 times 3 minus x1, which is a, a negative 1. Therefore, negative 8 minus 4 is a negative 12, equals m. Negative 3 minus a negative 1, since I've double negatives, it comes to positive 3. Then, to solve for m, I divide by 3, and I get negative 4 equals m, or m equals negative 4. Now, this is kind of a, uh, a long way to write this out. What they did was they say, well, if we're solving for m the whole time, why do I need to write it in this format? And we don't. We can get rid of this by dividing my x2 and x1 out on both sides. And then what I'm left with is what we call the slope formula. The slope formula just says, take m is equal to y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. It's much easier than having to calculate this and divide by 3. However, there's nothing wrong with that. So here, for this problem, again, I just need to label my x and my y's. So then, you just plug it in. y2 is a negative 10, minus 5, all over a negative 7, minus 2. Well, negative 10 minus 5 is going to become negative 15. And a negative 7 minus 2 is a negative 9. Now this answer, I can't divide evenly, but I can reduce it. It um, looks like 3 goes into both numbers. 3, um, the negative signs cancel out. And 3 goes in there 5 thirds. So therefore I can say m equals a positive 5 thirds. And that's how you find the slope using the slope formula and point-slope formula equation.